general anatomy, terminology, planes and regions. When describing the position of body structures, you must bear in mind that this is always in relation to the anatomical position. The subject stands erect with arms by their side and palms facing forwards. Location of structures are often described in relation to the anatomical planes. The mid-sagittal plane is marked by a vertical line running in an anteroposterior direction, dividing the body into equal and near symmetrical left and right halves. This line runs through the center of the nose, the sternum and the symphysis pubis. The coronal plane is a vertical line that runs on a lateral to lateral direction, dividing the body into non-symmetrical anterior and posterior portions. It is at right angles to the sagittal plane. The transverse plane is marked by a horizontal line dividing the body into superior and inferior portions. The four abdominal quadrants. The abdominal cavity can be mapped out using the four quadrant system. A mid-sagittal line is drawn from the xiphoid process through to the umbilicus and to the symphysis pubis. The transverse line is also drawn at umbilical level. The four quadrants are named accordingly. Right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left lower quadrant. This system can be used in mapping out large abdominal structures or when defining broader patterns of pain. The nine abdominal pelvic regions. There are two horizontal planes and two vertical planes which divide the abdomen into nine regions or compartments. These regions are important for the definition of organ position and more specific location of symptoms. The superior horizontal plane is drawn at the subcostal plane, that is the level of the 10th costal cartilage. The inferior horizontal plane is drawn at the transtubercular level, that is a point on the iliac tubicles between the iliac crests and anterior superior iliac spine. The vertical lines or mid-clavicular planes are formed by two parasagittal lines extending downwards from the middle of the clavicles. They go through the semilunar lines of the abdomen and terminate at the midpoint between the anterior superior iliac spines and the symphysis pubis. The central squares or regions are named the epigastric, umbilical and hypogastric or pubic. The lateral regions are the right and left hypochondriac, the right and left lumbar and the right and left inguinal regions. These are also called the pelvic or iliac regions.